Dallas Cowboys training camp coverage, powered by AA Best Bell Bonds, and in part by Texas Cheer Liquor, Cowboys AC and Heating, and Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. It's R&R in the morning. We are back live from Oxnard, California. He is Rudy J. I'm Rob Thompson, and your AA Best Bell Bonds Dallas Cowboy training camp coverage continues. We'd like to welcome on the show your number one draft pick for the Dallas Cowboys, Tyler Smith. Welcome on, man. I appreciate it. How y'all doing? Good. How are you, man? I'm How's doing camp well. going? I'm blessed. It's going well. It's going good. Well, you had a little bit of work after practice today. What was going on up there? Uh, we were just uh, tightening up some things in the run game. Like uh, Zach, Zach and Tyron are always good about, you know, just the veteran leadership and making sure that we're all on the same page, even the younger guys. Because they know, you know, at some point our name is going to be called and, you know, we're going to have to contribute. So it's just tightening up things. We're trying to get better every day. That's a big emphasis right now yes, sir. in camp. So that's kind of what we were doing there. Tyler Smith, the Dallas Cowboys, joining us right now. I, we're from Texas. It's our first time talking to you. So take us back through. It's our first time with you when, you know, they, you found out you're going to be a Cowboy being that you from Fort Worth. I mean, it was a, man, it was a crazy day. I a lot. So I flew back from Vegas the same day. Uh, a lot of my coaches from college were kind of telling me, like, you know, the Cowboys had interest uh, up to, to that point. I hadn't talked to the team very much or the organization, so I really didn't know, like, you know, how high the interest was. Right. You know, obviously later that day, uh, I drove to the draft party. and uh, No, not draft party, but my, the, the location we was watching the draft at. Right. You know, I see the star pop up on my phone at pick 24, and, you know, I just kind of, there's definitely an air of disbelief because, you know, you're in shock. Like, so, yeah, you know, like, damn, I'm about happening. to be a cowboy. Yeah, like. I'm about to be, but it was like, you know, it was a dream come true. Like, you know, I got to I get to come home, I get to play for a hometown team. You know, there's just no feeling like it. Like, you know, I said, I said the thing, I said it again. There's just no feeling like it. Tyler Smith, the pride of North Crowley High. Were you, were you a Cowboy fan? Uh, growing up, I didn't really have a team per se. Like, you know, my mom's a Saints fan. She's oh, a Shreveport, Louisiana. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Respect. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, her, you know, she kept it pretty pretty tight on <laughs> what flags were flying in the house. <laughs> but I played in the stadium a lot as a kid, so I was always aware of who was on the team. You know, the Cowboys most popular franchise in America. Right. You know, the richest as well. So, you know, I was always aware of, like, the greats and stuff. But, yeah. Um, talk about the, you know, I know they've had you back and forth, but talk about your transition in the uh, learning the left guard position. Uh, so, I, like... Has it been easy? Uh, Not easy, but have you been, you know... It's different, but my, t- my teammates and coaches, they've done a good job bringing me along. You know, having Zach there, he was kind of the same as me in college. He played tackle, you know, as he got here, okay. he transitioned to guard. So just having him in the room has been a great help to me. Uh, it's definitely definitely been different. You know, things are quicker the farther inside you go. Like, uh, you have to react to things quicker. You got to stay tight with your fundamental. The coach Phil and the coach Blasco have done a great job just telling me, you know, the, te- the techniques that I need to employ like the things I need to be aware of right. and just being on me every day about refining those things and walkthroughs, uh, mock games, whatever it may be, just having them always being on me about using the techniques I use. Now, Zeke had some high praise for you. I don't know if you heard. He said, you know, how strong you are. He seems like the game is slowing down for you. And he said once you get your hands on somebody, there's no getting away from them. Talk about that, you know, having Zeke give you that kind of praise and what that means for your confidence going forward. Oh, yeah, that's huge just to hear from him. You know, that's a, you know, that's a, a great thing. That's you blocking for. That's, <laughs> a, you know, that's what I'm blocking for. You know, he's a great dude, too. And just, uh, you know, I'm always trying to build. You know, I'm never satisfied. You know, as good as, 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 as well as I'm learning, as, as much things as I'm picking up, I want to be better than I was the day before. I'm always trying to get better. That's what we so, like you know, hear. it's about being consistent. It's about stringing together good days every day. And just trying to be, you know, consistent in your fundamentals and consistent in the way you play, and that's something I'm trying to do right now, I'm sure. Tyler Smith, number 73 in your playbook, no first-round draft pick with your Dallas Cowboys. Do you feel any pressure as the number one pick? Uh, I mean, you know, the, pre- the pressure is there. I definitely can't say I feel it. Like, you know, at the end of the day, the work is the work. Like, right. as long as you work, as long as you need to do the things that you need to do in the dark, you know, the light, it'll shine in the light. So, like, you know, just handling um, just handling what I need to handle, doing what I need to do on a day-to-day is the biggest thing for me. And, you know, just you, you got to control what you control. So I'm trying I'm trying to do everything I can do to make myself the best player I can be every single day. And, you know, that's the focus moving on. Is there a lot of film involved in what you do? A lot of film study? Yeah, yeah there's tons of film study. Yeah, even as a team, we don't get to watch every single play that we do throughout practice. And right. so, you know, it falls on us to really be watching ourselves on tape, to be tightening the things we need to tighten, to be screwing the things we need to screw uh, in terms of, you know, just getting the machine put together. 
And so that's something I, that's something I do every day. And Coach Phil, Coach Bosco, you know, I, I give them high praise. But, you know, for, for the rookies, they bring us in for an extra hour. They have us go over the, the small things, just right. fundamental things. We'll watch individual for hours and hours, just tightening up those steps because they know how important it's going to be in the long run. Is there I, a lot of rookie? Yeah, let's talk about being that, a rookie. Is it, how's that been for you? <laughs> I mean, it hasn't, been, it hasn't been bad at all. I mean, you have, you have the occasional time where you got to carry a helmet or two oh, yeah. and do, like, you know, the rookie stuff or you got to clean up. But it hasn't been bad at all. Like, you know, this uh, one thing about this organization, you know, I can feel it may not be a lot of other players, but there's a lot of camaraderie here. Like, you know, nobody treats anybody like they're lower in the total pool. Everyone's trying to get better because, you know, there's only one goal. You know, that's hoisting up that Lombardi trophy at the end of the season. Two linemen from Texas. We talked to, from, to Steele, who's from San Antonio the other day. Right. He talked about the weight room and how. Tyron runs the place. What's Tyron like working with? Man, that dude, I mean. He's a refrigerator. Dude, dude's a, a hall of, that's a Hall of Famer, yeah. man. Like, you know, he, there ain't too many dudes built like him. In that weight room, especially, there ain't too many dudes built like him. But, you know, that's a great dude to learn from. Just, you know, ask him what he eats. Like, well, how does he work out? What did he do? Because, you know, when he came in, he wasn't, you know, he wasn't as big as he is now. You know, his right. frame, of course. But, he, you know, that's just, you know, looking at him, I, I can see that's just a lot of foundation that he's built up. And like uh, as he's gone through his career, how do y'all manage? Like, to, you want to put on size, but you don't want it to be bad size. You want to still be agile. How do you balance getting bigger with with keeping your agility? A lot of that is diet and nutrition, as well yeah. as like you know exercise. You know, we have a program. Our strength okay. staff they have us on a strict program that we follow, and you know it's tried and true. But a lot of it is nutrition as well. Like you know, watching what you put in your body. You know, if you're gonna operate like a race car, you can't be putting you know junk in your body. That's something my, uh, you know, my strength coach always told me. So it's definitely a large part of that. You know, as you prepare either for a tackle or guard in your long-term career, do you prepare your body in a different way depending on the position? Uh, I mean, O-line, you know, O-line is a strange position. You definitely got to make sure you're always, you know, hydrated, stretching, you know, doing all the things you need to do in terms of rehabilitation. Uh, I definitely say just that guard, you know, your movements are a little tighter. So when you're doing your kick sets and all these other all things, that. that just needs to be like, you know, a, a bit higher on, on the focus. You know, the book has always been for guys that went from tackle into guard. You you said it yourself, it gets quicker. And getting the gap cuts and being quick enough for that, has that been the most difficult adjustment for you? Or? Uh, I mean, a bit, the biggest adjustment for me, I feel like it's just, you know, solidify. You got to solidify your technique. That's right, what it has yeah. to be like. You know, you know, the strength, the speed of the game, like, you know, that's all stuff that you can you can deal with, you know, in and of itself. But, you know, the technique is what's going to carry you through because when you, you see different body types, dudes who are built different and do different things week in and week out, and your technique is going to be what carries you through when, you know, you're at week, week 10 or week 11 and you're not feeling as strong as you were at the end of the season. Right? So it just has, you got to be tight technically. That's the biggest thing for me right now. Talk about the other Hall of Famer, Zach Martin, and how he's helped you along as well, I'm sure. I mean, Zach, he's been... I mean, it's, it's really indescribable. Like everybody, any, qu right. any question I've had, you know, he's answered. Like even throughout practice, like, I'm always asking, you know, if I'm staying there, so I'm like, Zach, how do you encounter this? And he's always able to give you a great description. And even after practice, you know, he'll come with me and he'll, he'll have me do drills and all these other type of things. And it's just, he's really? been a, he's been a huge help. Him and Tyler, like, you know, I, you know, I'm grateful to have them in my own every day. What do you, uh, your downtime, when the little downtime you get, what do you enjoy doing? You a gamer? What do you like to do? No. Or you just like to relax? I mean, I like to relax for sure. I mean, film study is always a big thing I try to do in my downtime. You know, it don't, it don't require that much energy. So, definitely try to yeah, stay in the playbook right. right now because, you know, the season is fast approaching. The first piece of the game, you know, 13. You know, I'm just focused on doing everything I need to do before then to make sure you know, I'm in the best position possible. So, What's first on your playlist? First on the, the music? Yeah. yeah. We've been asking everybody that. Man, I, sh I, mean, I shuffle that thing, man. That could be something. <laughs> Well, what, what do you like? To, what, depends on the mood. What right? gets you hyped for practice? What bring you down afterwards? What gets me hyped for practice? Uh, I don't know. It could be anything on my playlist. I mean, I got R and B, you know, country <laughs> rap. It could be anything. You got some man. country in there too. Well, whatever's on the playlist is fire. I'm, I'm telling you. Yep. So, definitely one of those. Hey man, we're looking forward to seeing it, man. It's a pleasure. Congratulations, man. Thank you so much for having me.